welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video that's been requested a couple of times carrying on all my different fragrance note videos. This one is all about the fragrance note licorice and I'm going to be running down the top perfumes that have licorice as one of their main notes. If you're new here then hello, welcome, we're all about perfumes here so do check out my hundreds of other videos on perfumes and if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet then do hit that subscribe button and show your support, you know I really appreciate it. Join our little perfume community, get involved in the comments and as always I'll leave links down below to where you can get these perfumes in the US and the UK. So licorice, um, of course, most well known I think as the sort of black sweet that you can get. It's actually at the root of a plant um, that actually gives the actual taste of licorice. So you can just buy the root and chew on the root, but most of the time it's mixed with sugar to make a sweet. And we tend to see it in perfumes that are quite sweet. It's usually mixed with vanilla or sugar or cotton candy to create a very um, sweet smell. There's not really that many where it is not super sweet, if that makes sense. I think the first fragrance that comes to mind on licorice is Aquilina's Pink Sugar. This is such an interesting like f perfume because it's so cheap. I think this cost me maybe like eight pounds or something on Amazon and yet it's been around for ages. Lots of people love it. Lots of people keep purchasing it. It's not like super expensive designer perfume it's not super super strong but it just hit to hit to no it just did, did something right and people love this I'm wearing it right now at first you get like this sweet cotton candy and you think oh it's just another sugary perfume but what happens in the dry down after a one two minutes is it becomes all about the licorice and you get this like fairground licorice vibe which is warm and cozy. It's sweet for sure, but it's a caramel licorice sweet rather than the cotton candy of the opening notes. So what I think that's why this has been such a success over the years because it's super cheap, but it actually does last quite a long time. In fact, I think it's actually an eau de toilette. Yeah, it is an eau de toilette. Comes in this fun bottle that's kind of like candy and like you can't really go wrong if you if you want something licorice or you just want something sweet that lasts that's warm it's almost like a predecessor to um victor and rolf bonbon but obviously way more affordable you can get like 10 of these for one bonbon um so yeah this is definitely the first one that comes to mind another one with licorice in is black opium i have it in a mini here I actually smelled this quite recently on an air hostess. I was on a plane and I was wearing a mask um, and I, every time she walked by I could smell this on her and I said what are you wearing and she said a black opium and again it was that warm licorice, slightly sweet but also quite warm and I'd say this is quite a sexy scent as well. I know lots of people say their boyfriends, their partners really like this on them, they find it an attractive smell and it really did smell good on her. It's a classic 2020s smell with vanilla and coffee, almond, patchouli, you know these classic ingredients we see quite a lot at the moment but also the licorice does really come through um, but it's not too heavy and it's not like a woody licorice it's more mixing with the coffee notes um, and the vanilla in here as well so very mainstream popular perfume which has loads of licorice in you probably didn't realize another one that's kind of of a similar vein again with the almonds and licorice is Le Petit Robe Noir from Guerlain except this of course has loads of deep deep cherry flavor in here so this is kind of like black opium but with cherry. Mm. It's it's definitely, I personally think, stronger than black opium and better value for money and I prefer the bottle. You guys know I'm a fan of this. It means little black dress in French. Look how gorgeous the bottle is. It feels really classy and expensive and it's just that warm, warm, deep licorice and then this warm cherry it's just an all over warm perfume, warm almond, great for the winter time. It's definitely sexy and mysterious and I can definitely see a lady walking around Paris turning heads with plenty of this on. 
If you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know that in the past I used to have the Loverdose perfume from Diesel. This was one of the first perfumes I bought for myself. I loved the purple heart bottle. I'm sad that I threw it away, I should have kept it. And this is one that is really known for being a licorice perfume. And it's weird because I love this perfume. I actually don't like eating licorice. I don't like the taste of licorice, but I do tend to like it in fragrances. This also had vanilla in again and star anise, which is quite a similar note to licorice, but it was vanilla -y, it was warm, and it came across a bit fruity to me. It has some mandarin orange in, and I always really got the fruitiness with the sweet warmth. And again, it was definitely a nighttime or an autumn winter vibe. I found it sexy, but a bit with the mandarin, and just less serious than something like Black Opium or Le Petit Robe Noir, more towards the pink sugar vibe, but not quite as sweet. And of course the bottles to die for and very reasonably priced. I always think this is much cheaper than I expect it's going to be. One that is quite well known for people who are big perfume fans, I think, is the Lolita Lempica fragrance. This one, when I worked selling perfume, it used to be asked for a lot um, by people who just wore this fragrance. They'd worn it for a long time and they just wanted to get another one. And it's kind of like niche in a way that you don't see it everywhere, but actually it's relatively popular. Now I know there's been a whole drama about the fact that it was discontinued and now they've brought it back with a different bottle design and everyone's saying the smell is not as good, it's not the same. Let me know if you want me to review this new version and um, let me know in the comments and yeah, sound off down below in the comments about what you think of the new, um, new version. Is it totally different and reformulated? Let me know. But I always found this to be a heavy, intense licorice with a sort of poison ivy type smell in it as well. I always thought it was like a, what fairies would wear in the forest. Again, it has that anise smell in it, sour anise, and also some violets in there. So it did have an almost powdery makeup undertone to it, but the licorice was really star of the show here. I'm saying was, it. it's still there. <laughs> it hasn't stopped, they haven't stopped selling it. You also had some cherry in there, like Le Petit Robe Noir. You had some praline and tonka bean in. It was like they just picked all the really warm fragrances. They made it sweet, warm, and really strong. And it was also really reasonably priced and not expensive as other designer perfumes, but it was strong, good for lasting, and a very pretty bottle. I think the new bottle is really nice, and I don't mind it, but I know people don't like change, right? People wanna to stick to original. I know one of the Muggler colognes, the blue one, is licorice with amber. I find this one quite a masculine licorice, um, but this is a cologne, so it's fairly light, so you wanna spray it quite a lot, um, but I find this probably the least sweetest of all the ones I'm talking about in this video. And then there are some perfumes that have licorice in, but it's not the main note, but it is still there. So Hypnotic Poison, the Eau de Parfum version. So the original is the Eau de Toilette. They then brought out an Eau de Parfum version. So this is a heavy almond vanilla, very almost sickly, I'd say. Um, but then it has this licorice in as well, which makes it a bit different to the Eau de Toilette, which is more about the almond vanilla. This has the licorice in as well. But I always say if you want that sweet, heavy vanilla, you might as well stick with the Eau de Toilette, the original version, because it is really good. I have done a video explaining the difference between all the poison perfumes, so I'll leave that link down below. Uh, Jasmine Noir from Bulgari has some licorice in, but again, Jasmine's the main note. La Nuit Trésor from Lancôme, I have it in a mini here. A very sexy um, nighttime smell. Again, we're seeing praline, we're seeing coffee, we have some fruity notes in here, and we have some licorice, so very warm, very nighttime, very winter. Penelope Cruz is the face of this. We have caramel as well. And it's just deep and sexy and intense. And it's licorice that's in there helping it be so nighttime and intense. And of course, these bottles are always so pretty. I do really like them. So that's it, guys. That's my rundown of licorice perfumes. Let me know if there's any others that you'd add to this list. Let me know down below in the comments. And let me know what your favorite is from all of these. But that's it for now. So thanks so much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.